we are going to be exploring an option called Collapse Transformations. But first things first, I need to set up a little scenario for you. So I have a video here called bird.mp4. It's uh, 1920 by 1080 in size. I'll just open up that quickly. So you can see we've just got a video of a bird. Okay, so again, keep in mind this is 1920 by 1080 and moving forward, I'll refer to this as large in size. So let's create a new composition and I will also call this bird. And I want to make this considerably smaller, actually 10% the size of the bird video. So instead of 1920, I'm going to make that 192 by 108. Choose OK. So there's our bird composition just there. And I'm going to drag the bird video into that. So if I scroll out just here, you can see the video is much, much larger than the composition. So let's scale that down. With the bird video selected, I'm just going to press S to bring up scale, change that to 10% the size. So now the video uh, matches perfectly the size of the composition. So the bird, the original bird video is large, and the bird composition is 192 by 108. And just moving forward, I will call that small. So now I want to put this bird composition inside of a larger composition. So composition new composition. Let's call this container. And I want to this I want this to be our normal video size, 1920 by 1080. Choose OK. So here we are inside the container composition. And let's drag the bird composition inside of that. OK, so as expected, the bird composition, which is very small, is showing up very small inside of our container composition. So let's bring up for the bird composition, it's scale options, and let's scale that up to 1000%. So now everything nicely lines up in terms of size, but no big surprises here. If I view this at 100%, here inside of our container composition, the bird actually looks extremely pixelated. So you may be in one of two minds here. You might be a little surprised here because we know that the bird video is large in size. However, the problem is it's sitting inside of a composition called bird, which is quite small, which has been scaled up to sit inside of our container composition just here. So here's the reason why this happens. Here inside of our container composition, here is our bird composition. The problem is that After Effects sees the bird composition as a single entity. It doesn't actually see all the components inside of the bird composition. It's effectively pre-rendered the bird comp and just display it here inside of our container composition. So the big question is, can we ask After Effects to not just view the bird composition as a single thing? Can we ask it to look inside at all of its components and then display that within our container composition accordingly? And the great answer is, of course, yes, we can. So to be able to do this, and of course, collapse transformations is what we're looking for. Uh, you need to make sure the switches are turned on. So if you look down in the bottom left um, of your uh, timeline just here, if I turn this off and on, you can see this little icon just down here will turn on the series of switches. And I'm just going to zoom in here for you like so. This is what we're looking for just here. So this switch actually has two functionalities. One of those is for vector content. I'll be looking that, at that in another video. But uh, the second of those functionalities revolves around compositions and videos, which is what we're looking at just now. So let me zoom back out here like so. So keep an eye on the bird. You'll notice here how fuzzy it is, how pixelated it is. If I turn on collapse transformations, there we go. Fantastic. A beautiful, nice, sharp result. Let me turn that off. There it is. Very blurry. Turn that back on. Nice and sharp. So again, guys, Collapse Transformations is the fantastic trick to help us out here. That's us asking After Effects to not just look at this single element, being the bird composition, but to actually look at all of the elements within that bird composition and give us a nice render accordingly.